Hello, my name is Todd Lusheen. I'm the uh, Regional VP for Region 5 for ASSP. This is one of the three videos I'd like you to watch prior to our Regional Operations Committee meeting. Um, this is going to be mid-September, uh, held in Des Moines, hosted by the Hawkeye Chapter. Thank you, Hawkeye Chapter, for taking over and planning that for us. Uh, so this, this video is going to be dedicated to the uh, the comp report or the chapter operations management tool report. Uh, if you if you ever need guidance, if you're a new officer or you're not familiar with the stand with the society operating guidelines or what they typically call the SOG, SOG 8.5 kind of gives you a guide, and it's that guide that was used to make the the comp tool that's on the course website. Every chapter has their own individual or unique link, which I have and I can share with you. The main idea, not the main idea, the main focus of the chapter operations is to provide member value. The purpose of the, the regional group is to share information, to be kind of a conduit, uh, both um, to the chapter and from the chapter to society, uh, to provide you with resources to improve to uh, the member experience. And then there's other things like, you know, there's things you need to do from an operational perspective because we're an organization and there's things we have to do. And that's part of the um, reporting. And we'll talk about that more in the other video. Uh, you all should have submitted, not everybody did, but you all should have submitted your annual operation plan uh, as of August 15th. And the reason I didn't want to put this out before that is I wanted to see where you all, you know, where, where it all started. And, I'm, and I've am i been asking for copies of everybody's submissions. And I'll talk about those in summary at the ROC meeting. Um, and I'll just put a plug right now that if you cannot send people to the ROC meeting, which is unfortunate, uh, myself and the two area directors, Jim Nelson and Tony Stevens, we're going to host a, a virtual discussion after the ROC meeting to try to make sure that everybody's least getting what they need. The idea is, you know, working towards chapter recognition. So the, the comp report did change slightly from last year. Uh, the operational plan was due on the 15th. Um, the other stuff is due at the, you know, after the fiscal year, right at the end, so May 31st. Uh, this, the, you know, the basic things are worth 1,200, and I'll show that in my breakdown. The operational activities that you, you know, that you need to have in place is worth about 3,100, but the majority of it comes from the uh, the member value. What's interesting is the scoring is 400 for the basic stuff, 90 points for the operational stuff, and 40 points. But there are more opportunities here and additional value. Here's the breakdown of the recognition levels. Bronze is 6,000, silver 7, gold 8,000, platinum is 9,000. We had a lot of uh, chapters that had the that got above. And here's what I just talked about, the, the impact points. So here's the basic, so the required, there's 1,200 operational. <laughs> That's how it all works out. Member value and additional member value. Here's a breakdown from last year's comp reports. I I'm going to show you in a moment that I broke down everybody's submissions and I really understand the tool now and where you can be getting points from and I'm going to ask some chapters to share some of their experiences at the rock meeting and then uh, maybe I'll have them join the uh, the after meeting uh, hosted by myself and my area directors. So Greater Chicago had some issues last year and um, we're, Tony and I are already reaching out and trying to help them. Um, it may take more than just us to help them out. Nickelay and Great Plains, um, you know, we'll have some recommendations for you to help you out. Uh, Wichita, Central Illinois, and Northeastern Iowa, you guys are, you know, you're right in that gold range. That's that's great. There's no reason to improve, but we'll give you tips on what to do it. And then everybody else, um, um, Heart of America, you know, got a platinum. They got, you know, right above what they needed. Hot guy led the way, you know, with 30 points under. <laughs> The maximum of 10,000. So congratulations to Hawkeye. As far as tips and resources, we're going to talk about those at the ROC meeting. That's what it's all going to come down to is what can we do. Um, the idea is to revisit this. And I think it goes along with, you know, you have your original plan uh, for annual, for your annual operations. And they should be aligned with the the member value with the operational requirements and other specifics and then additional value things and i think that's what we're going to talk about we're going to try to make this easier because we're all volunteers we all have jobs 
and this is our additional. And therefore, I want to make things a lot easier. Make it so that we all can have this template that we can follow and support each other and then get it all done. So here's the other resources. So what I'd like to do is show you some of the work that I had done um, in preparing for you. And then I'll be providing a, um, a place where I store all these documents so that any chapter can reference them. Because I was given a Dropbox. So I'm going to put them there. And then all the chapter leaders will receive a link that they can save in their own Dropbox if they don't already have one. So I studied the comp reports and the points allotted. I broke them up into three groups here. Sorry, four. Four groups based on the, the, the design of the comp report itself. The design over here, I have all the chapters, all 15 chapters listed across the top. Uh, what area they're assigned to. Uh, their revenue and expenses as reported. The points they received the previous year, the points from this year. There was a discrepancy in some of the point allotments that I was able to find, but they're not, they're, some of them had a little bit more than others. Um, it's not a big deal. It's just my own personal tracking. The reporting requirements, operational activity, member value, and additional member value all broken down here as well. And then I went through and read things um, to see what people, are, what some chapters were doing. I, I know you guys are doing the best you can, but I did see some, you know, the bonus points you can get, the additional member value. What some of you had, had put in there for justification didn't actually fit, but that's okay. Totally fine, as long as you're not audited, you know, it goes through. Uh, but I think we can come up with better um, recommendations for it. And here's a breakdown of everything down here. So I now have kind of deemed myself the expert when it comes to the, the comp reports. And I'm gonna be working with all of you. Um, one thing that I really wanna do to provide member value is to make sure we're providing regular, updated, um, and maybe visually uh, visually pleasing notifications to our members so that they you know maybe you know here are some upcoming webinars you can attend here's the free ones here are the ones you'd have to pay upcoming um safety focus or um filling out applications for promoting people as far as you know things they've achieved um and there's gonna be free stuff and some that have to pay, but I wanna make sure that our members are receiving everything, that we're getting out in front of them. And so in the next video, I will talk about the website design. I need help. I, I wanna create a, a social media website committee uh, so that it would be the micro-volunteering from different chapters. And I just wanna make it easier on everybody because the region website needs to be updated. I'd like to be providing a monthly uh, Region 5 newsletter that you all can you know put into yours or refer to I want to make this easier on everybody but I need people's help so I'm gonna need some volunteers uh, we'll be talking about that at the rock meeting and in the meeting thereafter as well as other things that I have here um, the the stats the current stats and I'll show you how to go in and download that that'll be the end of this video I want to keep it short so um, we got the sections listed. We, I don't really have a lot of information on the sections, and I'll be again working with my area directors, working with the leaders. So we've got the member count. I got the percents. So you can kind of see that like the Northwest chapter is our largest chapter, but they also have North and South Dakota. They've got three sections under their purview. Uh, the next biggest would be the Heart of America, I believe. Uh, no, I'm sorry, St. Louis, and then Heart of America. You know, the three of them together. You know, it's it's over a third of everything, but I'll be tracking this because one thing we want to do is promote this and get more people who are working in our field, who need assistance, who need a community to go to, that they join and they have access to all our resources and our support. Um, and that may be you know going beyond just the the prototypical hey I'm a full time safety professional, but to the people who are part time safety professionals or is not their primary role. I think that's that's they probably need more help than anybody, and I think we get uh, I think it probably benefit the most from our resources, and so that's something I'd like to do.